In today's video, we're going to talk about how I quickly color grade my footages in DaVinci. This is one of the easiest ways and fastest ways I've been color grading my YouTube footages and I want to share it with you guys. I've been having questions from you guys on how to go about color grading my videos and all that and I've never had the time to just because majority of the time I have been using the method of try and error to refine my skills. I won't say I'm there yet, but at least my understanding of color grading would help in this sense of using this particular plugin for today's video. And the particular plugin is Retouch for Me Color Match OFX plugin. There's a video on how you can use it and all that on your website. And these are the reasons why I prefer using this over any other film emulation softwares I have encountered so far. I mean, they have their own strengths and all, but I think this is one of the fastest, less heavy um, plugins I have used so far. It's fast for color grading. There's an available cloud for you to access LUTs that can also help in the color grading. Your workflow and your creativity is on par and it saves money and time. Talking about saving money, we'll talk about some things later on in the video. But let's just jump into what we have to do in today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe, like, share and leave a comment down in the comment section below. And also, if you want to try this out whilst I am doing whatever it is I'm doing, I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below. Obviously, I'll leave some of the video footages in there for you to try out and also a link to retouch for me website for you to download the demo then try this out and when you love it you purchase it so more more in depth on the purchasing and getting it later on in the video this is an s log footage these are all s log footages i have created so far right some are from friends i'll leave them I'll leave their handle down in the description box below. Whenever I jump into DaVinci, I am not a pro colorist. So some of the things I'm about to do will be frowned upon by some pro colorists. But at the end of the day, this works for me. I believe in learning, practicing and making something work for you. And that's what I've been doing for most of my photo stuff. So I have brought that same ideology into video and so far so good it's been working for me. Whenever I color my footages here in DaVinci, I do the editing in Premiere Pro. Come and do scene cutting here in DaVinci and I color them accordingly. So currently you can see me using or creating three nodes. One is balancing, one is color space transform and the other is retouch for me. So I'm going to drag the color space transform on this CST and i'll drag the retouch for me color match ofx plugin on this particular one more into retouch for me later so let's transform this into rec 709 for all the video guys who are already conversant with this i don't think this will be a problem but for those who are new to color grading in capture one i know this is not an in-depth in -depth video but this is more or less what i will do so if it's a sony footage you have which sony cameras are very good for video you change the lock footage to a rec 709 by adding color space transform effect onto the node you want the input color space is sony s gamma cine 3 the input gamma will be sony s lock 3 output i'll look for rec 709 to which every device i know out there previews their footages in and the output gamma will look for gamma 24 that's the default for every device out there that I know of. Now I'll come to the balance, then I would reduce this because it's overexposed. If this image was well let's well exposed, I wouldn't have to do too much of this, right? Let me explain these four wheels over here. From my left, we have left equivalent to shadows, gamma equivalent to midtones, gain equivalent to highlights, and offsets equivalent to the exposure slider in any editing software this is closely related to i won't say related it's closely or it's similar to that of capture one and that's why it's easy for me to be able to use this color interface here in davinci we have temperature we have tint contrast pivot and mid detail this more or less is more like contrast this is like clarity or structure and this would give 
clarity and sharpness to most of the things you would want to do over here. You have color boosts, you have shadows, highlights, saturation, hue and luma mix. Alright, let's go ahead and make sure we have our image looking or our footage. I'll be interchanging image and footage just because, you know, I'm a photo guy. So excuse me. I'll go into my curves by going to this side and looking at the scopes, our waveform, you realize our blacks and our whites are not clipping. Our footage is mostly found in the metals and we are, we are losing out on the contrast. So what I'm about to do is to add some contrast into this by pushing blacks and whites in and looks a little bit faded. I'll come back to my color wheel and because I always say this, your color information are mostly found in your midtones. I'm going to bring back details into the midtones, then expose the highlights. All right, we are going to be clipping on the outfit. So let's look out for that too. So dim this down a little bit this also and there we have our two transformations so color space transform for our rec 709 and balance just to bring back our footage to looking like this that's so far what we have done retouch for me the plugin retouch for me color match ofx plugin helps to reference color grades from images you have like I said in the beginning. So I'm going to choose a reference image. I'm going to work with this particular reference image. Take a look at this. Notice the color grid. We have some reds. We have some browns. I mean, reds and browns play together. We have some toned down whites. Overall, the luminosity is not as bright as you would see. So that means the whites are toned down, a little bit washed out, but there are some contrast in there and all that. Let's pick that. And this is how Retouch for me analyzes that particular image and gave us this particular grade. So we have certain sliders over here to readjust this for this to work for us perfectly. We have color match blend, which mostly I leave at where it is. Match smoothening. Match smoothening is sort of related to how colors blend amongst the tonal ranges available to every footage out there. Match luminance is how bright or how dark you want to match the brightness of the said reference image to your footage and matching the color, of course, it's evident by showing you what the slider does. So I'm going to keep this 100 and what I will do is to match smoothening. I'm going to move this all the way to 100 or 1.000 here in Da Vinci. What I want you to pay attention to is that mostly the match smoothening doesn't work perfectly, but for whatever reason, it's working for this. So you would have to readjust to make it work for you. What I have to do now is to bring down my luminance and I think this is working perfectly. Comparing this to the image we previewed, let me move this aside, hit it this way. So as you can see, what I am missing out is my blues looking dead tone like this, which you can fix. It has some warm to it. Of course, this image has some warm to it. Now you can feel the redness from here in this footage. Let's do a before and after. Before and after. There are tone down, skin color, tonal variations and all that. What we can do next, since we have this, we can come back to the balance and make further adjustments, right? So say something like this, reduce this, maybe add some tint just so that we are in that region of coldness, cool it down and let's see. Okay, let's add some warmth into the mid-tones right this will work it's similar to the grid we have over here and that's what i am looking for let's play back this and like i was saying earlier it's not heavy on the footage or on your pc because you can play back easily as compared to other plugins 
that sort of are too heavy or other film emulation plugins that are very heavy on your footage so you can play back easily that's i think one advantage i've realized so far i want to take this thing to the next level right but let me try yeah let's take this to the next level i want to make sure the skin tones are popping i want that melanin feel from it i'll come back to my balance i forgot to add some color to this just so it looks a little bit rich so what i do most of the time for skin work i'll create another node let's rename this to skin work right pick up our qualifier pick a skin color you can see that it moved from whatever preview you have over here to a selected mask i want to view the mask so i'm going to hold shift h shift h on the keyboard then i'm going to add more selection of the skin to it all right because i need the skin selected just the skin because we're going to be working on our dear skin add more selection to it sorry and you guys know to every selection we don't want sharp edged transitions so i'm going to add some blur radius just to make the selection a little bit smoother or add a bit of feathering to the selection just so it doesn't look too sharp right i'm going to hold shift h again just so, just so that the effect can go off or the mask can go off i'm going to add color compressor to this pick and compress the hue of the selection i've made to just one color so you're picking this particular color i'm going to compress the hue all right compress the saturation to one saturation this is what the luminance does and i just need a little bit of it beautiful let me go full screen and let's see before and after command d to show before and after of what we've done i don't think you're seeing too much of it what i then do is to come into my color wheel and reduce the midtones right just to reduce the luminosity of it so command d as you can see now let's play it back we have our skin looking very very sweet just take a look at that so command d again you can see the luminosity values all evening out there's more we can do to this i can come to my curves go to my sat versus luminance reduce the luminance on the reduce the saturation on the brighter side of the face right as you can see i'm going to bring it all the way down because it's a dark skin model come to my saturation versus saturation and reduce the saturation at the very highlighted parts right so you see before and after before and after and to top it all off i want some softness to the skin i'll reduce the mid detail and to minus 30 see before and after before and after so let's play it back playing it back i have enriched the skin with regards to how dark she looks i have the color grading from my retouch for me doing some very good job for me also look at how it changes the greens behind over there and that's a perfect representation of color grading all right let's move to this particular footage all right i'm going to apply what i did over here to this but the next thing i'll do let me turn this off turn off the retouch for me and i'm going to open up the exposure open up my midtones and let's see if the blacks are not clipping over here Open it up a little bit and I'll come and use the shadows over here to bring it up. I'll turn back on my retouch for me, but for the reference photo, I'm not going to use what I used initially. I'm going to use a similar image I shot in the same area, but I color graded it differently. So I'm going to use this, double tap on this, and I have this. Take a look at this. 
you realize I said something about match smoothening. This wouldn't work for this particular image. So I'm going to take it all out. And when I match the brightness values, take a look at the greens. They're doing a marvelous job. Am I right? Beautiful. I'm going to come back to my CST, which is my color space transform. Add a tad bit of green tint into the footage, right? Just to have a little bit of that orange and teal. Then, because I feel like they are all in the same tonal range with respect to skin tone, I'm going to turn this on and take a look at this. So, if I play back the footage, this is what we have. Very good looking representation of this particular oh, where is it yeah i think on a scale of 10 i'll give it say 8.5 because it's very 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 close you can go further to make the blues the hues of i mean we have the hues of the blues in the same direction the only difference is the luminosity take a look at the skin tones take a look at the white take a look at the reds they are working perfectly all right that's how quickly i am color grading these footages i've already done that for this so i'm going to input that in here the reference image for this particular work comes from this image I posted it one time and I think I took it down just because I was trying to curate my feed. But take a look at this. Let me move this aside. Zoom in. Go back to our reference photo. If you're doing match for match color, take a look at the yellows. Take a look at these yellows. The skies. Take a look at the skies. Very, very close. And let's come back to this. So this is what retouch for me is doing to our footage. Let me turn off these other adjustments. And this is for the skin. You already know how I do the selection for the skin. This is for retouch for me. This is how the footage looks. We have our color space transform exposed for the footage just to have a well balanced footage. We add our retouch for me together with our reference photo. We do minor adjustments by darkening it down, bringing back some details in the mid-tones, then our skin toning just to make sure it looks closer to the reference image. Right. As you can see, it looked closer, but the skin was also sitting on the yellow. So I think it had a, it had, a, it had a problem, a little bit of a problem matching the skin tones. But as compared to you having total control over your footage this is the best you can grab out of this and just take a look at that full screen matching colors skin tones perfect the yellows the blues good to go let's pick on this particular footage All right the regular things we do color space transform go to sony gamut scene go to s log b you to rec 709 and output gamma we can do 24 okay so let's fix this add some blacks to this some white all right some more blacks come to a color wheel Let's drag the mid-tones down, open the shadows so that we can have some details in the hair and reduce our highlights. So let's play back the footage. This is how it looks like, All right? Let's drag retouch for me into this. Go to choose our reference photo. I think I would want to use this image as a reference photo because of the browns, the brown toning. I'm going to match the luminance and match the color not totally match it i'm going to have it sit somewhere let's see somewhere here somewhere here is fine let's see matching the color blend color match blend and let's okay so this is before retouch for me and after before and after so let me go full screen 
before and after. I like the brown tones, before and after, before and after. I like the color change and the blues, as you can see. I like what it's doing to her skin, how the whites look now. Perfect. You can do more. Maybe bring down, go back into, yeah. Then add some color boost to this. And take a look at that. So let's come back to before and after, before and after. As you can see, very beautiful. All right, the next footage, probably use the same thing. I think I'll open this up because we are clipping too much, All right? Let's boost our whites up a little bit more. Let's see, before and after. Yeah, I like the brown tones. Before and after. Take a look at the surrounding or the supporting people in the footage. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. This footage provided by Lester O3. Okay, so sunny has come out we go to i wanted this video to be a short one but just because you guys know i like exploring a lot or explaining sorry the right word was explaining i want you guys to get it i want it to be easy and i know people still ask questions but yeah so i can refer you to when i was explaining too much all right so with this i'm not i'm going to introduce a retouch for me uh, retouch for me i'm not going to use a reference image for now retouch for me also has available a cloud-based lat for whatever it is you want to do right so all you have to do is hit on lat manager it provides you with a lat store it's either you're buying or you're going to use the already available styles in there so we have grading edition mobile weekly black and white top 25 log user uploads LUT or LAT stack. So I think I'm going to go into grading additions. And I love this tone in style 3. I'm going to double tap on it. And voila, there I have it. I can blend it in at full capacity. Or I'm just going to say, do this. Let me quickly fix this. Yeah, give it a little bit of contrast. Perfect. So back to retouch for me if it goes 100 that's how it looks like and i'll just reduce it this way and what i also need you to pay attention to is you can equally add your reference image say i want to add this reference image this has majority orange and teal look teal look all over it so i'm going to add it and i'm going to reduce the match luminance and reduce that for my match color also so i have that plane in there so much smoothening much luminosity yeah so this is what i have in addition to the last manager i picked earlier and that's how it looks like zoom in that's how the footage looks like very beautiful before research for me after research for me let me quickly yeah very beautiful very beautiful. this is not a still image this is actually a footage let me see you can hear this guy counting very beautiful footage so i did mention i was going to talk about how you go about buying and all that this is so far the best thing that has happened to me with regards to color grading my job is going to be cut into two when it comes to color grading my video footages for youtube and all that all i have to do is match it to the pictures i shot during the the shooting time and these days i'm also using led so i think it's quite easier for me it's a very good fix for wedding cinematographers photographers who are looking into coloring their videos that they have shot for clients it's fast easy saves money and time talk about money the going price for this particular plugin is at $124. For all those interested in trying it out, you can use the link in the description box below to try out the demo. And if you further want to purchase and own it full time, as a one time purchase, 
you can use my promo code JOEY20 to get 20% off this original $124. One time purchase, like I said, it works for DaVinci Resolve 18 or newer and you have three activations for three different devices. That's how good a deal this is. It's a steal to be very honest. So if you're interested after watching everything I have done so far over here with respect to all the reference photos, this is a steal. Grab it, make your work easier, faster and quicker. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, leave a comment in the comment section box below if there's anything you would want me to talk about. If you want more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll think about it. I'll do more. And thank you guys for being patient with me. I know I did say I was going to vanish from YouTube last month. I'm coming back and I hope to produce or give you content that's worth your while. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, check the description box below. If you want this, purchase it. Use Joey20 for 20% off and I'll see you in my next one.